Teaching Business Communication in Distance Teaching by Telephone Business people spend a lot of their time communicating on the telephone each day, just as their day-to-day -day business is carried out on the phone. In distance learning as well, uh, it plays an important role. It is used for a variety of purposes, uh, for example, for a clarifying and confirmation and getting information, as well as for giving feedback on the information which they get. The quality in distance, distance education generally depends upon a lot of factors. For example, on the delivery of the contents, how well are they communicated with the learner, how well the courses have been designed, uh, the regular communication between uh, the tutor and the student, as well as continuous feedback, which is a must for uh, the learners to get, especially the beginner learners, and also interaction with instructors, instructors, which is supposed to be live, meaning that it should happen on the uh, synchronously. The traditional methods of uh, distance education used the paper, whereas when you are using uh, the telephone, you get the following advantages. Uh, first, you get that live interaction with the instructor, which is so effective for effective uh, language learning. Uh, then there is an ease of use because no special technical expertise is used in, uh, is required in using the telephone. Also, it is very cost effective. Little or no cost is involved here. So, um, the choice of technology depends uh, to a great deal upon how, uh, on the ease of the use of a uh, of an instrument and also upon its cost. As this is especially true in in company situations where the teacher is often the first line of support for finding the right word or for clarifying. Uh, a certain concept and so on. Uh, the students might want uh, the teacher's help uh, to, cl to cl talk about their assignments or their, uh, or their clarifying about their uh, uh, homeworks and so on, and as well as for satisfying the customer's needs. So the teachers and the learners may use the telephone to discuss uh, various aspects of the assignment, assignments which they have been given, uh, plans and projects which have been given to them as part of their learning, uh, what are the learning themes, as well as to get feedback from the teacher. Using the telephone is also an excellent way to create the interaction which is so necessary for effective language learning. Here, uh, the interaction happens asynchronously, meaning that it happens in real time. Uh, so the students get a lot of uh, practice of using uh, language in a practical and realistic uh, way. Uh, similarly, uh, where uh, teachers and students have got access uh, to the real authentic intra, uh, um, texts of the company or the intranet, then they can use the authentic material uh, for their language learning. Distance learning through a telephone is now being supplemented by the mobile technology. Mobile communication is also catching up in this regard. And the SMS feature of which is afforded by the mobile technology is continuing for education and distance education. And the rapid growth of the mobile technology is now generating a lot of uh, commercial applications as well as uh, research interest.